Good evening, viewers. You're tuned in to ICRT. I, Keeping you informed. ICRT! Some toxicologists who participated in the Ministry of Health and Welfare's meeting over the fatal food poisoning case have suggested that the culprit might be a toxin called boncrechic acid. Health Minister Shreya Yuan says the discussions are leaning toward toxins that are either internally generated or externally added. He says if it is an internally generated toxin, it's probably boncrechic acid produced by rice fermentation. According to an NTU hospital doctor, the rare toxin has never been detected in Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan. He says the old medical records were found with reports of cases from mainland China where people fermented corn flour at home. More recent medical reports have indicated cases of boncrechic acid poisoning after victims ate rice noodles and wood ear, with the chances of victims dying between 30 to 100 percent. The reports list symptoms including liver and kidney failure, shock or coma, which are consistent with the victims in the recent case in Taipei. He says Taiwanese businesses generally do not produce their own rice noodles, so if contamination occurs in manufacturing, source control and recall measures should be implemented. Bong Krekic Acid Culprit Toxin Fermentation Poisoning. Contamination. Symptoms. The Nuclear Safety Commission says delaying nuclear power plants phase out is a complicated matter and requires social consensus. NSC Chair Chen Dongyang says today that it's related to national energy policy and involves aspects such as dry storage construction regulatory amendments, and nuclear waste disposal. Chen made the comments in response to KMT lawmakers' plans to amend the Nuclear Reactor Facilities Regulation Act so it no longer sets a deadline for the extension of nuclear power plant operations. Noting that safety is the most important factor in the operation of all nuclear power plants, he said the Atomic Energy Council will definitely uphold strict scrutiny in accordance with relevant regulations. Thai Power says Number 3 Nuclear Power Plant is the only one currently in operations, and the license for its first generator expires in July this year. The other one expires in May of next year. Phase Out Consensus Amendments Scrutiny Atomic Generator Expired Taiwan automobile industry leader Ho Tai Motor anticipates a rebound in orders from May due to increased promotional activities by various car brands. The company maintains its estimate of 450,000 units for this year's new car market, attributing the figure to a stable domestic consumption and the continuation of the old for new car policy. Ho Tai also aims for a record 170,000 registrations for its three major brands. Toyota, Lexus, and Hino, targeting a market share of 37.8%. Despite global geopolitical risks and unclear monetary policies, Hotai assures that the automotive chip shortage is no longer an issue and production st supply has stabilized. Rebound Promotional Consumption Attributing Geopolitical Monetary policies Stabilized Tens of thousands of Israelis have gathered outside its parliament building in Jerusalem in the largest anti-government demonstration since the country went to war in October. They urged the government to reach a deal to free dozens of hostages held by Hamas in Gaza and to hold early elections. Nearly six months of conflict have exposed renewed divisions in Israeli society, though the country remains largely in favor of the war. While Hamas has suffered heavy losses, it remains intact, and hostages' families believe time is running out. 
Netanyahu says calling new elections before victory in Gaza would paralyze Israel and hinder hostage talks. Parliament Demonstration Hostages Conflict Paralyze Intact The Central Weather Administration says the number of aftershocks following last Wednesday's magnitude 7.2 earthquake is declining on a daily basis. According to the Administration's Seismology Centre, as of 8.30 this morning, it had recorded 739 aftershocks. Those aftershocks include two with a magnitude of six or above. There have been 25 aftershocks, ranging from magnitude 5 to 6, and 222, ranging in magnitude from between 4 and 5. Data also shows there have been 490 aftershocks, ranging from between 3 and 4 in magnitude since the initial earthquake. The Weather Administration says those figures indicate that the daily number of aftershocks has been declining over the past few days, decreasing from 314 in the immediate aftermath of the initial quake to around 58 now. Aftershocks Magnitude Seismology The initial earthquake Declining Immediate Mainland Affairs Council Minister Cho Tai San says his office is closely monitoring former President Ma Ying Zhou's visit to Beijing and his itinerary there. Ma arrived in the Chinese capital last night. Cho's comments come amid reports that arrangements are underway for Ma to meet with Xi Jinping during his stay in the Chinese capital. And reports are saying they could meet on Wednesday. Speaking prior to a legislative hearing this morning, Cho said that his office hopes that all Taiwanese can travel to China and return safely, whether they choose to travel there for sightseeing or cultural and educational exchange purposes. Cho didn't mention Ma's possible meeting with Xi. However, he did tell reporters that Ma is travelling to China in a private capacity, and the Mainland Affairs Council believes that all forms of cross-strait communication and exchanges are a good thing. Ma is scheduled to stay in Beijing until Thursday, before returning to Taiwan. Monitoring Itinerary Arrangements Legislative Exchange Communication Private Capacity Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing has confirmed that it has chosen Kikuyo in Kumamoto Prefecture as the site for its second fab in Japan. TSMC CEO C.C. Wei made the announcement during a visit by Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida to the chipmaker's first Japanese fab in Kikuyo. According to reports, Wei also expressed optimism during the meeting with Kishida about future Taiwan-Japan cooperation in the semiconductor industry. JASM, which is a joint venture between TSMC, Sony Semiconductor Solutions, and Denso Corporations, announced in February that it plans to start building a second fab at the end of 2024. Construction of the first fab started in April 2022, backed by support from the Japanese government and TSMC's partners in Japan. The plant was inaugurated on February 24, and mass production is scheduled to begin in the fourth quarter. JASM says after completion of the two fabs, it expects to roll out more than 100,000 12-inch wafers a month under maximum capacity using the mature 40, 28, 22, 16, and 12 nanometer processes, as well as the advanced 7 and 6 nanometer technologies. Semiconductor Fab Cooperation Joint Venture Inaugurated Wafers Nanometer In Taipei, 56 individuals reported illnesses after dining at True Wow, Chuwa, and Xiang La, Spicy Hot Pot, two restaurants under the Wow Prime Group, sparking concerns of food poisoning. The Taipei City Department of Health, having ordered a temporary shutdown, is testing for pathogens with penalties pending for any violations found. The incidents led to an investigation with symptoms among affected patrons, including vomiting and diarrhea. 
While Prime Group suggested the cause may be related to the building's water supply issues, but health officials emphasized the responsibility of the restaurants to ensure food safety, separating it from potential water contamination issues. The department continues its epidemiological assessment, focusing on food provided to customers, with no additional reports of illness from the surrounding area. Illnesses, food poisoning, pathogens. Penalties, violations, contamination, epidemiological. Starting May 1st, the Directorate General of Highways will activate a new dynamic weighing system at three key locations on Taiwan's national freeways: southbound near Xinying on National Freeway Number One, and northbound near Shuling and Holong on National Freeway Number Three. This system aims to streamline the process for heavy trucks, which must observe the changeable message sign for their vehicle number display. Trucks not listed are required to proceed to the weigh station with evaders facing a hefty fine of 90,000 NT. This comes as part of efforts to enforce weight compliance, reducing overloading and evasion instances significantly as stations already equipped with the technology. Activate. Dynamic, streamline, overloading, evasion, evaders, hefty, compliance. Taiwanese pineapples will soon be available in New Zealand. The Ministry of Agriculture announced the signing of a Taiwan Fruit and Vegetable Export Plan to New Zealand. Under the Taiwan-New Zealand Economic Cooperation Agreement, the initiative, following nearly eight years of efforts, sets strict guidelines for the systematic management, harvesting, and processing of pineapples to ensure they meet New Zealand's quarantine requirements. Pineapples are a flagship export for Taiwan, celebrated for their rich aroma and juiciness. With this new market access. Taiwan adds New Zealand to its growing list of pineapple export destinations, including Canada, Japan, Korea, and Australia, further broadening the global footprint of Taiwanese pineapples. Export initiative quarantine flagship aroma juiciness. Footprint. Millions of Indonesians are packing bus and train stations, airports, and highways as they head home to hometowns to celebrate Thursday's Eid al-Fitr festival with family. The transportation ministry expects the largest movement of people in Indonesia's history. The agency is projecting the number of travelers heading home to reach 193 million. Or nearly 72 percent of the population, more than 1.1 million people are expected to depart the Greater Jakarta area to return to hometowns. Idul Fitr festival, hometowns, transportation, movement, projecting, population, depart. Looking for the hottest music and exciting updates? Follow Mike Sharty on YouTube and all social media.